Hello folks and welcome to another Richard Head Longbows video. That's Richard, I'm Philip and we're in the workshop today and with a special interest to arrows and arrow boxes. Uh, you probably already gleaned that from the title and the thumbnail. Arrow boxes come in many shapes and flavours. Um, this is probably what most people associate with an arrow box or certainly a wooden arrow box. This is actually a U one. It's a nice one, it's got a lock on it in case you want to hide secret arrows in there. And it's got a place in there obviously to put your arrows. As I say, this is sort of one that people are probably most associate with and perhaps even have got one or indeed the modern versions of them which tend to be sort of plastic and what yeah. have you. Richard's got a very special one. Oh yes I have. It's this which we're calling and we believe will be called an arrow ascom. An ascom. What's and an uh, ascom? Well, what does that mean? Uh, Roger Ascom was tutor to Elizabeth I and he wrote the first book on archery, the first book that we know of, uh, called Toxophilus and it was in the reign of Henry VIII and Henry was very pleased with it and I think gave him a life pension for doing it and uh, it's a book that's still available in print, copies of it anyway. And the Ascom, there's a longbow Ascom which was a long wooden box to put your bow in and your accessories, bits and pieces. This was in the time of Victorian era when you'd have had your man to carry it around for you. It wouldn't have fitted in, so you'd have had a... Like a golf caddy. You'd have had your man to <laughs> take it to the shoot, and then they'd have had another man to set the targets up, and probably a man to produce the half-time sherry and all the rest of it. So it was a rather genteel time. So you had this wooden box that would have your bows kept them very, very safe, and your man would uh, take it around for you. What do you do with your arrows? Well, you have an arrow ascom, like this one here. Mm -hmm. Wooden box, nice carrying handle on it. The top lifts up to reveal a set of arrows. All ready to use, so it keeps them very, very safe. Ooh. That's a set of uh, footed clout arrows, I think. We're warming them. Yep, and he was bowyer to the woodman of Arden at Meriden. Yep. And in the woodman of Arden's hall, and they've got a, a hall which has been used for archery only, I think they must have built it. The grounds are used for clout shooting and have been used for uh, many, many years just for clout shooting. And they've got built-in ascoms into one of their rooms all along the walls are these ascoms like lockers to put their bows in uh, they're obviously not removable but there's similar type of thing so this box has got slots for your arrows carrying handle and then down the bottom a little drawer little cupboard that you can open up and inside is or at least you can keep a bracer a tab, you could put a spare string, whatever you wanted in there. Score book or score book, yeah, yeah score, score cards, um, any bits and pieces that you wanted to uh, make sure were not lost uh, when you were going to a local tournament to uh, to shoot. Or maybe some little miniatures of sherry. You could get that in there. Yeah. That's a good idea. Nice hip flask, hip fl yeah, like nice um, whiskey bottle in there. Yeah keep you going. And a nice picture of your girlfriend or something at the back there. Yes, I did mention mobile phones but they didn't have any then did they? Not, not as in, far as I'm aware. No, two cans with the length of string was a sophisticated Yes, yes got, the, the Ascom can and string which we'll be showing next week <laughs> yeah, is if we uh, can very find, useful. If we can find one. So your man stands yeah. down the other end near the target and shouts. says that's a six sir <laughs> and uh, so you know what you've scored. You don't score a six, it's odd numbers. Oh, yeah, you that's should true. know that. I should One, three, five, seven, nine, come on. Oh, that's it, odd numbers. <laughs> yeah, but not back in the old days. It was all pre decimalization, so it, it was. It was the uh, oops, pounds, I've lost tab shillings, now. and pence. And <laughs> too much sherry. <laughs> the, <laughs> that's the problem. The prince's reckoning, wasn't it? Yeah. And they didn't even have a. No, well, anyway, we're getting uh, off really, the subject. Really, really into the weeds <laughs> there, folks. I'm sorry. <laughs> so there we are. So um, I don't think anyone makes them anymore. I wonder why, but the, the, a part of archery history. Mm. 
Yeah, there we are, so folks. It's, it's good. It's really nice handle. Yes, leather, isn't it? Leather handle. Look at that. They don't make them like that anymore. So yeah, nice, um, nice thing. And uh, if you want to buy it, tough. Because I suspect this is the sort of thing Dad will put in his will to be buried with. Like in uh, it. In it, like, or even buried in it. <laughs> if we can fit him. Might have to burn him. Certain bits of him, put him in there. Uh, so anyway, there you are. I uh, hope you find that interesting. And uh, if you want to know more about arrow boxes, uh, we haven't got any other videos about arrow boxes. No, I think this is the first one. That's it. Uh, but if you want to watch other videos, they're probably on the screen now. And there's probably a subscribe button over there somewhere. If you want to see more about ancient archery stuff, um, then uh, this is the place to be. Yep.